Hello, this is widget areas tab demo and tutorial and widget areas are important part of your theme and the widget areas add both above and below your header, above and below your menu and similarly for the content and the footer you can see this is the content above position bar. Then we have the content below position bar, then footer above position bar and footer below position bar. You can add as many as widget areas. And first option is to add a position bar above your header. It will ask you for the number of columns in your position bar. Here I'm selecting four and you have to specify the name of each cell here. I am naming it here, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, and cell 4. Click on OK and the position bar is added above the header. Similarly, you can add your position bar below header also, above menu, below menu, and so on. And this option is to remove a position bar here i am removing this one click on this button and the position bar is removed from here next option is to specify the number of columns in a position bar column one in the position bar two columns in the position bar three columns in a position bar and four columns in a single position bar here I am keeping it four only. Next is the background option to add a background color to your position bar. And here I'm selecting this one. Now after the background option, we have the border option. And where are styling options for the border? Style includes dotted dashed and solid border you can give the thickness from here radius of the border color of the border and you can add shadow to the border also here i'm giving the color to my border and then i'm giving the thickness you can see the change in the radius also from here i'm keeping it 10 pixels and this is the shadow option. Here are the various presets of the shadow. Next is your margin option for the position bar. You can give the margin from top. Similarly, you can give it from the bottom, then from the left, and then from the right also. Coming to the padding option, you can give the padding from top, bottom, left and right. Just go to more, deselect the option and give the padding from left and from right and done. Next is the option to add or remove a cell from the position bar. Suppose I want to remove the last cell and I'll simply click on this button and you can see the cell is removed from the position bar. And now I'm going to add a new cell to the position bar and here you need to mention the cell position, whether at zero position, one position, two position or three position. I'm going to add at third position and you have to enter the name here. I'm keeping it last cell and just click on okay. And the cell is appended at the last. Next is the width option. From here, you can set the width of your cell. Here, cell 3 is selected. So, see the change in the width of the cell 3. The continuously changing width of cell 3. And as the width of cell 3 is increasing, the last cell is in the next row now. And now, cell 3 itself is in the next row. And from here, you can change the width of the cells individually in the position bar. Next is the background option for the position cell. You can select any color for the position cell. 
and next is the border option similarly just like you have added a border to your position bar you can add a border to your position cell also and style from the style options thickness radius and the color options you can style your border next is the margin option for the position cell you can get the margin from the top margin from the bottom margin from left and margin from the right then coming to the padding option you can give the padding from top bottom left and right just go to more option select all and give the margin to the position cell next option from here you can rename your cell suppose i am changing the name of the cell 1 to first cell and click on ok and the name of the cell is changed here initially it was cell 1 i set it to first cell from here next is the draw position option that will help you draw a position and here i'm drawing a position to the header and i can resize it and move it according to my requirements next we are having the designing options like background i can apply a background color to the position have the various gradients option and a background image can also be applied to the position After the background, we are having the border option. From here, you can give the border color. Then styling options to be dotted, dashed, and solid. Thickness of the border. I am setting it two pixels. Apart from style, thickness, you can give radius to the border also. Next option is to change the name of the position. And here I'm setting it. I'm setting it position. And just click on OK. And this is the name of your position. This is your widget areas view in the desktop. And you can go to tablet view also. Apart from the various options already described you can delete the position bar on the tablet and you can regain your position bar again from the gallery similar options for the cell also suppose here i am deleting the cell tree and you can regain your cell tree from the gallery coming to the mobile you have the option for the deletion of your position bar and option for the deletion of the position cell. In the mobile view, I am deleting the cell 3 as well as cell 2 and both the cells you can see are saved in our gallery. Going to the desktop, the two cells deleted in the mobile view will not be having any effect on the desktop. That's all in the widget areas tab. Hope this overview covered enough to help you get started and explore on your own. Keep watching our next videos also. Thank you.